Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. Star Wars number 7 recently dropped and fans got another solid issue. The issue provides readers with insight into the Imperial Commander Zara's backstory and also provides a nod to the High Republic which, hell yeah. So let's dive into the issue and see what Star Wars number 7 has brewing. The issue opens up with Leia, Luke, and the Rebel Alliance's 4th Division in the Midrim. They've just received a transmission from Commander Grek and the Rebel Alliance's 7th Fleet who sent standard rendezvous confirmation codes with the hope that the 4th fleet will rendezvous with them. C-3PO quickly informs everyone that if they respond, the Empire will be able to hone in on their location, but Leia authorizes a response and says it's time to strike back against the Empire. We then transition to the Imperial Star Destroyer Tarkin's will and learn that Commander Zara and the Empire have been able to intercept the transmission between the Rebel Alliance's 4th and 7th Divisions. Zara wants to hit Leia in the 4th Division, but Lieutenant Gore quickly points out that they're closer to the 7th Division. Reluctantly, Commander Zara agrees with Gore and the Tarkin's will prepares to engage the Rebel Alliance's 7th Division as several Imperials talk about how Zara has a personal vendetta against Leia. We then flash back years earlier to the Outer Rim on Tarkin's homeworld of Iriadu and learn that Tarkin had brought three Imperial upstarts to the planet with the goal of picking one of them to become his protege. To prove their worth, Tarkin informs the three individuals that they'll descend into the family-owned Carrion Plateau where they will have to hunt for a resilient and deadly Veermach. Tarkin tells them they have 12 hours to hunt the beast and return with its head. The individual that succeeds will have proven worthy enough to become Tarkin's protege. I love this because it's a nod to another one of Charles Soule's stories, that being issue 18 of his Darth Vader series, which showed Tarkin's skills as a hunter when he and Darth Vader hunted one another on Chandar's Folly. I love how often Charles Soule connects his stories to one another. Anyway, Zara returns the next morning with the head of the Veermach, telling Tarkin Tarkin she also killed the two other individuals along the way. We then see Tarkin and Zara working together over the years before Tarkin assigns Zara a special mission to travel to the Midrim planet of Ikruk because a warlord named Bernie Amro was utilizing rhetoric and imagery associated with the obsolete criminal organization the Nile. Absolutely love this little nod to the High Republic. The Nile were announced as one of the main antagonists of the High Republic which Charles Soule will be kicking off with his book Light of the Jedi. Guys I just just love it. Tarkin tells Zara she can take his personal ship, the Carrion Spike, and she soon sets off for Ikruk to kill Bernie Amro. After believing she successfully terminated the Warlord, Zara went back to the Death Star but learns from a disappointed Tarkin that she actually killed a decoy of Ro, allowing him to continue to broadcast across the Hollow Net's shadow feed. Zara is dismissed and then a week later discovers that Tarkin has ordered her to be reassigned, essentially cutting ties with his former protege. As Zara leaves the Death Star on an Imperial shuttle, we can see the battle raging above Yavin 4 from A New Hope right before Luke successfully destroys the Death Star, allowing Zara to escape the same fate as her former mentor. As we return to present day, we see Zara's Tarkin's will and the Empire are overwhelming the Rebel Alliance's 7th Division. Zara then asks for an update on what's happening with the 4th Division and she learns that the secondary strike team sent to engage the Rebels found that the 4th Division was already gone by the time they arrived at the coordinates. Right as this happens, the 4th Division appears out of hyperspace, successfully sneaking up on Zara and the Tarkin's will, bringing the fight to them. Zara orders Gore to prepare her shuttle as she plans to lead a boarding party on Leia's capital ship. And that's where the issue ends. This was a super fun issue. I loved getting some backstory for Commander Zara, learning about her relationship with Tarkin, and seeing that she's just as ruthless as that crusty ass Imperial Moth. Additionally, I also love that Charles Soule dropped the Nile into the issue, which was a great great touch. Hopefully, Star Wars number 8 will show Leia and the Rebels taking it to Zara and the Imperials, but we'll have to wait until next month to see. But what do you guys think about Star Wars number 7? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.